Hello, and welcome to a new episode of 7 Fact. If you love geography and history, subscribe right now, I promise it will be worth it. The Republican Canton of Jura is one of the federal states of the Swiss Confederation. This is the country's newest state, having been formed in 1979. Located in the northwestern corner of Switzerland, Jura is an almost entirely French-speaking canton, with the exception of one village, Edesvilla, where Germans form the majority. This is by no means a big community, only 73,000 people live here. However, that doesn't mean it's not worth discovering. So join me for the next couple of minutes and let's learn some cool things about the canton of Jura. Much of the land that make up the canton today started off as a donation of the King of Burgundy to the Bishop of Basel all the way back in the year 999. For more than 800 years, it remained a sovereign state within the Holy Roman Empire. But in 1815, in the aftermath of the French Revolutionary Wars and the Napoleonic Wars, the Jura region became part of the canton of Bern. This decision didn't make anyone happy in Jura and caused dissension, first of all because Jura was primarily a French-speaking Catholic region, while Bern was mostly a German-speaking Protestant land. So, you know, they were a bit different. Things remained so until the end of World War II, when the separatist Le Bellier organization campaigned for a secession of Jura from Bern. They even resorted to some arson attacks, but the violence never escalated greatly. The separation took place three decades later in 1978, and one year later Jura officially joined the Swiss Confederation as a separate full member. But this wasn't the end of the story. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored and none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. And with that said, let's go to fact number 3. When Jura split from Bern, the southern parts, which are French but also Protestant, voted not to join Jura but remain a part of Bern. The choice may have been influenced by the fact that the canton of Bern is financially richer and is at the heart of federal power in Switzerland. The area is now known as Bernese Jura. Since 1994, the question of the Jura region has again been controversial. In 2004, a federal commission proposed that the French-speaking southern Jura be reunited with the canton of Jura, as the language question now seems to be more important than the religious one. However, when the public was asked in referendums in the following decades, the results were still in favor of remaining a part of Bern. Thus, there remains a separatist movement to this day right within the heart of Switzerland. The capital city of Jura is De Le Mans. With a population of just 12,000 people, the city is a charming little piece of Swiss land. Perhaps the most famous thing that came out of De Le Mans is the Swiss army knife. Established in 1893, Wenger was one of only two companies that produced this worldwide known pocket knife. Since 2005, the company was bought by their rival, Victorinox, which makes it the only company in the world that makes Swiss army knives. The Le Mans is also one of the main centers of agitation for separatism since 1947 up until this day. Enough about politics, let's talk about some leisure. Have you ever wanted to walk the streets of a medieval village? Then saint Ourson is where you need to go. This small village is jam-packed with centuries-old houses and is just lovely to behold. But if villages aren't your thing, you could go to the nearby city of Pohontui. It too preserved much of its old buildings and its architectural heritage is simply astonishing. Most people who think of old European cities think of pictures like these. If you're into ancient history, and I do mean ancient, you're gonna love this. Jura sits on a layer of rock that was formed some 152 million years ago, in an era we now call the Jurassic. This isn't a coincidence, the term Jurassic comes from the Jura Mountains, where this layer of rock was first discovered. The fossil-bearing limestone formations, which Alexander von Humboldt called the Jura Limestone, are the basis of the names Jurassic System and Jurassic Period. 
There are also thousands of dino tracks preserved in the rocks here, so there are some visible connections with Earth's ancient giant. The term Jura itself comes from the dense forests of the mountains, the Gaulish Jor meaning forest, which in turn originates from the Slavic Gora meaning mountain. The people of Jura are especially proud of one specific animal, the Freiburger or Franche Montagne horse. This beautiful horse breed first appeared sometime in the 17th century and has had a constant presence ever since. If you want to see them in their full glory, you need to go to saint Legier in the second weekend of every August. Since 1897, during the Marché Concours, horse races, shows and markets dedicated to this breed are taking place. The people around here are especially fond of their horses and consider them as much part of the community as the humans themselves. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.